Hey folks, so in my last video, I showed you how we can build an offline capable Vine Infusion progressive web app. What we built was a to do application that detects when you're offline and when you're offline, it just disables adding new to do's and changing existing to do's. But as I hinted in the previous video, we can actually do something a little bit better than that. So even when we're offline, we want to be able to create new to do's. Now creating new to do's even when we're offline is not perhaps as difficult as it might seem because we know that there won't be any collisions or conflicts when we try to save those on the server because nobody else has tried to create those exact to do's. So let's go back into the application and see how we can enable saving even while we're offline. All right, so here we're in the app that we built. And as you remember, we're able to change to do's here. And when we go offline, we get a notice here saying that we're offline and save is not available and we can't interact with anything in the application. So let's go back online. And what I want to do then is first of all, let's remove the note that we can't do anything while we're offline because that's not going to be the case. And we're going to remove the disabling of the form. So now if we go offline, the form and the button here still remain enabled and that way we can do something with them. So what we need to do then is decide how we're going to deal with those to do's if we are offline. So here in our save to do method where we're calling the endpoint to save our to do, we have a try catch that I added. And the catch right now just logs things to the console. But what I want to add here is that if we're offline, then we want to save that to do locally while we're offline so that we can retry the save operation to the server once we're back online. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to create a new property for uh, to do's that haven't been saved, but are just saved locally. So we can call these, let's say, pending. And what I'll do then is if we're offline, we'll take this dot pending. And then we'll create a new array that has all the previous ones in the pending array. And then we'll add the new to do there. So this is just kind of a staging area for things that we haven't synced back to the server yet. Now we still want to show them as we're adding them offline. So instead of uh, just looping over the to do's here, let's add a little getter for combining those two arrays so that we can see all the to do's at all times. So let's call this all to do's and we'll return this dot to do's and concatenate that with this dot pending, like so. And what we can do then is go and change this to all to do's. So right now, hopefully nothing should have changed. So we can still update things, we can refresh, and hopefully things will work the same way as it did earlier. Now, if we go offline, and let's try to add something, so say offline and press add, you'll see that it actually gets added here. Now there's still a problem here in that if we go back online and refresh, that thing's going to disappear because we never synced it back to the server once we were reconnected. So what I want to do uh, to enable that is go here to my connection state listener and check when we get connected, let's call a method uh, to sync all those pending operations. So this dot sync pending and then we'll create that new method here. So sync pending and what I'll essentially do here is take the pending array and we'll go over each of them with a for each. So each to do we'll take and then we'll call this dot save to do and pass in that to do. And once we've done that, we're going to set this dot pending to an empty array, like so. So if this fails again, obviously, they'll get re added to pending, but this is hopefully good for now. So again, let's go offline and type in something here. So offline, press add we see it gets added to our list. And hopefully now that we go online, 
that will get synced to the server. So when we refresh here, you'll notice that it's still there. All right, so there you have it. A simple way of saving things even while you're offline and syncing them back to the server when you're back online. Now, you could go one step further and save these to index database or to local storage so that you have them available even if you close the actual browser window and launch later on when you're back online. But for that to really be meaningful, we also have to have access to all the other to-dos in our application. So we essentially want to be able to load our application, start up our application, even when we're offline. So that's something that we're going to take a look at in the next video. Meanwhile, if you have any comments, questions, ideas for new videos, post them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe so you get notified when that video comes out. And thanks for watching. Bye.